What's up, sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. It's time to continue my 2023 schedule preview and, and projected records for the 2023 college football season. We continue them with the Syracuse Orange. Here was the schedule last year for the Syracuse Orange. The overall record for this team going 7-6 overall in 2022. 7-5 in the regular season. So it was a pretty decent season last year for the Syracuse team. Pretty big surprise from them last year. Kind of didn't expect them to be really that good as we, you know, thought they would be. Um, Syracuse, though, you look at who they played in the non-conference. They played UConn, Purdue, Wagner, and Notre Dame out of the non-conference. So they did have quite a, you know, tough non-conference schedule there with Purdue and Notre Dame on the schedule. That kind of makes it the non-conference schedule a little bit tougher. And UConn kind of turned out to be as good as we didn't think they were going to be. So, yeah, the non-conference schedule ended up being as tough as we thought from last year from Syracuse. You look at who they lost to in the ACC. They had a pretty tough stretch there from the month of October, you know, on October 22nd to the month of November on November 19th. They lost um, five straight games to Clemson, Notre Dame, Pittsburgh, Florida State, and Wake Forest. Uh, all five of these teams turned out to be really good teams, so... Schedule overall was really tough last year. Of course, that's when the divisions were still there, so that's kind of always tough to play some of these teams in the divisions as well. So let's get now to 2023. Uh, let's look, look at the schedule now for Syracuse. Uh, what will they look like in 2023? Here's the schedule for Syracuse heading into 2023, and you look at who they'll play in the non-conference. They'll play Colgate, Western Michigan, Purdue on the road, and then they'll play Army here at home. So the non-conference schedule is not all too tough this season um, as it was last year a little bit. Purdue, though, they'll play that game this year on the road. That's a rematch from last year. What a finish to that game. That was probably one of the best non-conference games in the top 10, perhaps, from last year in the early part of the season. And then Army here. It's going to be kind of a um, really interesting non-conference game. Of course, Army likes to run out the clock. They like to run that triple option. So they'll really, you know, hold out the clock a little bit there in this game. So, again, no divisions in the ACC this year. So this schedule makes it a lot tougher for this Syracuse team. Uh, let's go game by game now for this team. So let's start the season off with their four non-conference games. Uh, they'll play their cupcake games here with Colgate and Western Michigan. Uh, you get those first two games there in the, on September 2nd and then September 9th. Then they'll play Purdue here on the road on September the 16th. I'm gonna, Like I said, going to be an interesting non-conference game there. We don't know how good Purdue is going to be this year. All we know is they got a new head coach and a new coaching staff, so we'll see how that game plays out. And then Army here on September 23rd. Like I said, Army likes to run out the clock offensively. They're going to run that triple option, so it could be really an annoying game for Syracuse. And then they'll play Clemson after that on September the 30th, so they do have to play Clemson once again this year. That's obviously tough, but the good news is you get this game at home. Then they'll play three straight road games here. How about this? The schedule is really kind of weird. Um, you know, they have to play three road games in a row with North Carolina, Florida State, and Virginia Tech. All the three of these road games are not going to be easy for Syracuse. This is what makes the schedule a little bit brutal for Syracuse. Obviously playing North Carolina and Florida State in back-to-back -back games, and then, of course, playing Virginia Tech, which wasn't that good last year, but... These are tough road games here for Syracuse. That's what makes the schedule a little bit brutal. And they don't really get, you know, any breaks there. They do have to play a weeknight game against Virginia Tech. So this is a pretty, you know, tough stretch here from the month of October. You know, from October 7th to October 26th. Um, they'll play Boston College after that on November 3rd. This will also be a Friday. This will be a Friday night game, I believe, here against Boston College. Then they'll play Pittsburgh here on over the 11th. This will be at New York, so uh, looking forward to that game. I think this game is going to be held at Yankee Stadium, so that if I correct me, I'm wrong. If I'm not correct a little bit, it is going to be at New York City, though. And then they'll play Georgia Tech after that on the road, and then they'll end things out here with Wake Forest here on over the 25th, so... Schedule overall is pretty tough for Syracuse. They have some tough road games, especially with that Purdue game to begin out the year on September 16th. And these three straight road games to North Carolina, Florida State, and Virginia Tech, that's what makes the schedule a lot more brutal for this Syracuse team. 
But let's get to the projection now for this Syracuse team. Uh, this is the scale I use for my projections if it's a 1% game. Uh, these are games where Syracuse has no chance of winning in. 20% games in the orange. These are games where Syracuse is going to be about a couple touchdowns of an underdog, about double digits. 40% in the yellow. These are games are going to be about a heavy underdog in, about a touchdown. 50-50 games. These will stay in the white. Games where they can go either way. 60% games. Uh, these are games where Syracuse is going to be favored by at least a touchdown. 80% games. They'll be favored by a couple touchdowns and double digits. And then 90% games, these will stay in the green. Games where, you know, Syracuse is going to be favored by more than three touchdowns. We always start with the easy wins here in these projections. Uh, let's go to the easy wins for this Syracuse team. And I think you got three of those games. Got Colgate, Western Michigan, and Army. Army, though, is about 90%. I don't think it's closer to 95% at all. Like I said, Army likes to run out that clock, and, you know, it's going to be a really tough game here for Syracuse, you know, to score some points in. But they do like to run that triple option. That's what makes, you know, Army a really tough non-conference game, and that's why it's about 90%. But the rest of the two games here I think are pretty much over 95%. I don't think Syracuse will have any problems with Colgate and Western Michigan, but you never know sometimes. Uh, Syracuse, from where they were last year, we don't know how good they're going to be as well because it's too early in the season. And this is just based off of where the teams were from last year. So um, let's go to the games now where Syracuse is going to be favored by at least a couple touchdowns, about 80% by double digits. And I think you've got one game on that schedule, and that's Boston College here on November the 3rd. You know, based off where Boston College was last year, I'm going to put this one in the blue. Plus, Syracuse gets this game at home, so that's the good news there. And that this is the only game I really see Syracuse uh, being favored by at least a couple touchdowns. So, And this is also an ACC matchup. That's why I can't put it in the green. So I think Syracuse is the only game that I really see them being favored in the blue, about 80% by a couple touchdowns. We go to the games now where Syracuse is going to be favored by at least a touchdown in the purple, about 60%. And I think you got two of those on the schedule. It's Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech, both on the road. Uh, both of these teams, you know, Virginia Tech, for example, wasn't that good of a team last year. Georgia Tech was decent, but, you know, I'm going to still favor Syracuse in this game. But it could switch to a 50-50 game by the time we do those predictions in the month of May. And same thing with Virginia Tech. That could switch to a 50-50 game because... Syracuse has to play three straight row games. That's really brutal there from October 7th to about October the 26th. That is just really brutal of a stretch there. And then, of course, you know, Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech are two road games as well. And you just never know what can happen. But I think they'll be at least favored in both of these games by at least a touchdown. So I think these are the games where Syracuse will be at least favored in. We go to the games now where they're going to be underdogs. Now, I don't have any red or red games here, but I do have some orange games on the schedule. So we'll start with the orange games here on the schedule, 20% where they're going to be a couple touchdowns of underdogs. And I think you got two of those on the schedule. You got North Carolina, Florida State here. I really don't think Syracuse has a really good shot to beat both of these teams on the road, but I'm still going to be like really giving them just a couple touchdowns of underdogs here. I really don't. I can't put these games in the red though because of based off of where Syracuse was last year. I'm going to just stick with it and put it both of these games in the orange. These are two great teams coming into 2023. Of course, you know North Carolina has a lot of hype for Drake May, probably a Heisman candidate, and Florida State has a lot of production coming back. They could be a playoff contender heading into this season. These are two tough road games, though. These are really tough road games here, and that's why I got both of these games in the orange. We go to the games now where Syracuse is going to be about a touchdown of an underdog at 40%. Uh, these are games, you know, where they could probably have a chance to win it in, and I think you got one game on that schedule. It's Clemson here at home. I think this is the best chance they have in the yellow. I think, you know, they we've seen Syracuse give Clemson a little bit of trouble over the years. Uh, Clemson's lost on the road to Syracuse at times over the few years as well. And I think they give that kind of trouble to Clemson once again this year. But you never know about it. I mean, you know, it could probably change a little bit to a 50-50 game by the time we do those predictions. And also, Clemson may be as good as we don't think they're going to be. But, you know, Clemson probably will still be that overall team. And I think, you know, Clemson will still be favored in this game as well. So, I can't really pick against Clemson either. I don't want to make this a 50-50 game because Clemson is the best team right now, perhaps in the ACC. And also, they were the best in the Atlantic Division over the years. But Clemson, I think, will be favored in this game. And the rest of the games here on the schedule, Purdue on the road, Pittsburgh, and Wake Forest are all 50-50 games. I think that you can you know, make that Purdue game a 50-50 game because of how the game went last year. 
Pittsburgh. That's a neutral site game. I got to put this one in the white. Wake Forest. We don't know how good this team is going to be, but I got to still make it a 50 50 game based off of where they were last year. And how many games do I see them winning out of the 50 50 games? Maybe I see them winning one out of those two games, or maybe one out of those three games. Maybe they do win against Wake Forest at home. They could potentially, though, lose to Pittsburgh here in the neutral site game on November the 11th, and then probably lose to Purdue on the road. But don't sleep on these purple games. Don't sleep on those purple games of Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech. They could lose probably those games on the road. But let's now get to the projection here for this Syracuse team. The projected record. Again, this is not my official prediction. This is simply a projection based on this schedule. This is a really tough schedule for Syracuse. Uh, probably one of the most difficult schedule probably in the ACC this year. So if you look at this schedule, the games that they're favored in and also the games that are underdogs in, and you got that 50-50 game here with Purdue, Pittsburgh, and Wake Forest, uh, you get an overall projected record for this Syracuse team at 7-5 and five for 2023. I mean, you know, 7-5 and five may not seem right, but that's how the projection came out. Um, you know, because of all those wins in the green, and then, of course, you know, that blue game against Boston College. So yeah, seven and five comes out to be the projection, but it could switch to you know six and six perhaps when we do those predictions. Uh, we just don't know how good this Syracuse team will be, but also the schedule right now is just brutal for Syracuse. This is probably one of the toughest schedules I've seen in all the ACC this year so far. So I think you know this schedule really doesn't play out for them. They still have to play some weeknight games. Those three straight row games, though, are brutal. Those are really brutal for Syracuse, playing three straight row games against really good teams. Well, Virginia Tech, for example, wasn't that good, but, you know, Florida State and North Carolina are just brutal there. But this is how the projection comes out. Um, let me guys know what you think about this Syracuse team down in the comments below. Uh, what do you think their best case scenario is? What do you think their worst case scenario is? And stay tuned here for more sports content on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.